Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. Today for our fluency lesson, we're going to work on two different activities, one with subtraction and the other one with rounding. So our first learning goal says, I can use the standard algorithm to subtract measurements. So we're going to continue over from our previous lesson and work with subtraction with decomposing numbers once. And our other activity has to do with rounding. So it says I can round three and four digit numbers to the nearest hundred. So that's gonna be our main focus for our rounding is to the hundreds place. Okay, so let's jump in and get started with our subtraction. So I'll give you a subtraction problem. You might have to decompose the hundreds or the tens. Look carefully at the whole problem, decompose any numbers needed before you begin subtracting. Okay, so let's jump in and get started. For this, you will need your dry erase pocket. Um, so make sure that you have that with a dry erase marker so you can actually just work right on there to solve your subtraction problems. Because for this activity, I'm gonna give you a problem and you're just gonna come up with the answer when you're ready to share with me, we'll compare. Okay, we're not gonna walk through how to solve each problem. This is just for you to practice on your own. Okay, so here we go. So your first problem, it says, or is, 80 liters minus 26 liters. So you're going to use your dry erase board. Go ahead and use the standard algorithm to be able to solve this subtraction problem. Click pause. Go ahead and do that. Solve it. Click play when you're ready to go over and see the answer. Okay, here we go. Ready? 54 liters. I'm sure you guys got that one. If you didn't, please take another look at the problem with your decomposing. Um, when I line up those numbers and I have 80 minus 26, I have a zero in the ones place. And if I have zero, I cannot subtract six. So I need to go decompose those, um, the eight in the tens place and take one of those and decompose the 10 into 10 ones. Okay, so don't forget, that's our lesson from yesterday. All right, here's our next problem. 380 minus 26. Now notice this is really close to our last problem that we just did. Um, the first number has a different um, digit that you're starting with. So this one has in the hundreds, but the process is going to still be the same. Okay, so go ahead and solve this one and click play when you're ready to see the answer. Okay, here we go. 354 liters is the correct answer for this problem. Okay, here's another one. 380 liters minus 126 liters. Okay, go ahead and pause the video. Solve the problem and click play when you're ready to see the answer. Okay, here we go, friends. Ready? Ta-da, 254 liters is the correct answer. All right, let's look at another one. So now we're measuring in grams. So grams are the weight of something. So 900 grams minus 25 grams is going to equal what, my friends? Go ahead and pause, solve, and then play to go and see the answer. Okay, here we go. 883 grams is the correct answer. Okay, here's our last problem that we're gonna do. 908 grams minus 425 grams. Okay, so this is very similar to the one that we just did. Look, 908 minus 25. So now we're doing 908 minus 425. Okay, so pause the video, solve it, click play when you're ready for the answer. Okay, here we go. 483 grams is the correct answer. Okay, so good job practicing with your subtraction using the standard algorithm and decomposing tens or hundreds to be able to solve. So good job with that, friends. Now we're gonna go into reviewing rounding to the nearest hundred. So I'll give you a three or four digit number. You're gonna round to the nearest hundred. So for example, if we had 4,562 and you round that to the nearest hundred, what would be the correct answer? What do you guys think? If you said 4,600, you got it. Okay, so notice how we are rounding to the hundreds place. So that thousands place in your problems, friends, if you have a four digit number, is going to remain um, the same. Okay, here we go. 
So 253, go ahead and round that to the nearest 100. If you need to pause, go ahead and pause. Otherwise, I'll share the answer with you. Here we go. 300. Okay, next one. 1,253. Round that number to the nearest 100. Okay, here we go. 1,300. All right, here's your next one. 735. Go ahead and round that to the nearest 100, friends. All right, if you need more time, click pause. But here's the answer that I came up with. 700. There it is. Okay, next one. 1,735. Please round that number to the nearest 100. Okay, here we go. 1,700. Great job, friends. Love it. All right, here's another one for you. 850. Please round that to the nearest 100 and you get... Here we go. Ready? 900. Good job, friends. All right, so we have 1,850. Go ahead and round that to the nearest 100. Here we go. 1,900. Okay. 900. Whoops. Oh, I gave that one away. Man. <laughs> All right, 952. What is that rounded to the nearest 100? Yeah, it's 1,000. So that one's a little bit trickier because you have to go up into the next place to make it 1,000. All right, 1,371. What number does that round to the nearest 100 to? All right, here we go. 1,400. Good job. All right, friends, last one for today is 1,450. Please round that to the nearest 100. Ready? Here we go. 1,500. Woohoo! Awesome job, friends. All right, you guys are on fire with subtracting measurements and rounding to the nearest 100. So great job working on that today, friends. If you need more practice with this, please go back and watch this video again. There is absolutely nothing wrong with working on the same problems more than one time to become a master and to become more fluent in solving those problems. So great job with that. Like I said, you guys are on fire. So awesome job. Please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete next. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye friends. Thank you.